Hey, what's up? You seen seen her where? No way. I ain't feeling that. Don't tell me that. I don't even want to hear that. For real? Man, come on. I, I, um, no, nah, bye, bye. God dang. Man, oh man. I don't get it. A lot of people cheat. Have you ever been cheated on? Well, you're not alone. I've counseled many people who were cheated on and each individual told me how devastated they were. When cheating occurs, we often think it's mainly about sex. But according to research, most participants feel some form of emotional bond with their affair partner. Now, many individuals who felt neglected or lacked love in their primary relationship sought attention elsewhere. Some relationships begin at a young age and one or both individuals realize that what they have is no longer what they want. They've outgrown each other and begin to decommit from the relationship. Hello, I'm Dr. Joe Laird, and today you will learn several reasons why people cheat. And once you've learned why some people cheat, you'll stop blaming and beating yourself up, thinking it was your fault. You may have played a part, but more than likely, it was the cheater. The cheater in sheep's clothing, as we call them. So do me a favor, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and that will help the channel grow so that I can reach more people. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching and supporting. Every situation is different when it comes to cheating and there's no single reason why someone might cheat. Cheating can be the result of several reasons such as incompatibility. Now the definition of incompatible is incapable of existing in agreement or harmony with something or someone. You don't have the same things in common with your partner. You're different. You like the nighttime, they like the daytime. You like crowds, they like being alone. You like vanilla, they like chocolate. Now you like what you saw when you first met the person, but after you got to know them, you were in too deep and you realized that I'm not feeling this relationship. We are so different. You know, they say that opposites attract. They may attract, but later they subtract. Now another reason people cheat is because of a lack of intimacy. Again, in the beginning, you both enjoyed being around each other. That is until you got to know your partner. And after a few arguments or your desire to be touched or to touch your partner slowly died out. You stop spending time with each other, you stop having sex, and you begin to drift apart, feeling unappreciated or neglected. Another reason people cheat is anger and frustration. You're tired and fed up with your partner for whatever reason. You fight and fuss all the time. They get on your last nerve, you get on their last nerve. Another reason is revenge. Your partner cheated on you, so you want to get some get back so that they can feel your pain and must make them hurt. Another reason, lack of commitment. Your partner is no longer committed to you. They fell out of lust, I mean, fell out of love. The relationship started out strong and after a few sexual encounters, some nagging and conflicts, they no longer feel the same way and they realize you are no longer what they want. You come home from a long day's work and your partner, who's making less money than you, is playing some type of video games or, or your partner's on Facebook or, or scrolling through the phone and, and spends no time with you. Has no desire to better him or herself. But slowly but surely, you begin to pull away from him. Another reason, your partner thinks that they are missing out on something. Something is missing from the relationship. They believe that the grass is greener on the other side, but what they don't know is that it may look greener, but it's harder to mow. You have become envious, feeling discontent and aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. So stop looking at what your neighbor has. They have their own problems. You don't even know. They have issues that may be worse than yours. Mind your business. That's your relationship. Another reason is high sex drive or sexual addiction. And that's gonna be severe. Their motto is, keep on till the fun stops. Don't stop till you get enough. Just kidding. Now, sex addiction is real. Beware of porn addicts because they prefer fantasy over reality. They are addicted to the dopamine rush from the images. If your partner's a sex addict, whatever you do doesn't matter. It'll never be enough. Another reason is early childhood trauma. Some individuals were sexually abused and have become either an abuser, promiscuous, normalized, or a hater of the opposite sex. Another reason is a person feels empowered. They are the gifted and the wealthy. Too much is given, much is required. They use their beauty, their authority, or wealth to their advantage. 
And this is why people in authority get in trouble because of their influence. Another reason that people cheat is emotional attachment. Now, someone is giving you the attention that you desire, unlike what you're getting at home. That man or woman at the job fits your type to the T. Now, when people feel emotionally disconnected from their partner, they may seek out someone else to fill the emotional void. And according to researchers, 65% of office workers have a relationship with someone at work. 65%. And this can be due to a lack of communication, a lack of intimacy, a lack of emotional support from their partner. Another reason is a lack of sexual fulfillment. Your partner is a stiff, a zero, or a rookie in bed. People may cheat if they're not getting the physical or sexual connection they desire in their relationship. My personal opinion is that having too many partners can lead to dissatisfaction. If you've had more than two partners and your partner only had one or none, they may not be as experienced as Johnny or Lisa which may be a turnoff to them because they had some great sexual partners. So just wait till you get married and save yourself for your husband or your wife. Too many chefs spoil the soup. Another reason is people who are dealing with depression or anxiety or bipolar disorder or other mental health issues may turn to infidelity as a way to escape their problems and make them feel better. It's important to note that regardless of the reason, cheating violates trust and can cause severe damage to a relationship. And if you're unhappy in your relationship, let your partner know. Don't cheat on them. Be mature and give them the option to stay or go. Don't be selfish and sneak around because what's done in the dark will come to light. You will reap what you sow. Who knows, if you tell them how you're feeling, they may make the necessary changes. Understand that change takes time. Your partner may lack experience in areas and it's up to you to help them because that's what partners do. They help each other. If they don't want to change, you should consider leaving the relationship. Remember, cheating is not always about sex. It has more to do with an emotional connection than a sexual one. Learn to communicate with your partner and treat them how they want to be treated, not how you want to treat them. Now, this may prevent you from cheating or being cheated on. If your partner cheats on you, thank them. That's right. Thank them and move on with your life. They lost a good one. Learn from the relationship. Now, if you gave it your all, you did what you were supposed to do. Now, chalk it up as a win. You deserve better. And if you're patient and you do your research, you'll find a good one later on down the line when you're ready. So don't rush. More than likely, you weren't the problem. They were. So don't beat yourself up thinking that it was your fault. They may have been like that before you met them. You saw some signs. Come on, think about it. Now, I need you to help my channel grow. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Share it with those who may benefit from it. I truly appreciate your support. And that's all I have for right now. Thanks for checking out my video. And until the next time, the more you know, the more you grow. Life is what you make it. God bless you.